It's your favorite Tic Tac flavor. Rhino Crunch here today. Now, before we get in today's video, really quickly, guys, if you want to see keys for tomorrow's video, make sure to like this video. We're gonna go for uh, let's go for let's go for twenty thousand again, guys. I I know you can do it. I know it's in you. And uh, good luck finding keys in this video. And so let's get right into it. <laughs> I love stupid songs like that that just make me feel good, man. You know? I feels you. Haters gonna hate, hate, hate. Like dumb songs like that. Just, oh, man. <laughs> on deployment, we did that. Play stupid songs on Fridays. Did you? That little... That one, that one song. It's Friday, Friday, <laughs> Friday. You have somebody. No, 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 no. You're clear. You're clear. You're clear. Clear. I'm coming in first floor. I'm gonna clear it all the way up. Ooh, was that your sniper? Nope. All right. I say we do the usual. That's not your sniper? No. I'm That's for so him. close, dude. Might be on our secondary. Is this you above me? Yeah. Yo, yeah, do you secondary. need a. Oh, is he? I'm about to light him up. He's, he's on our building, though, right? Yeah. Go top floor. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, there's a blue M16 on me. All right. One of them's dead. Did you you finish that guy, right? Yeah. Gingerbread man's the only one left. I'm gonna peek out this way. I like my gingerbread. Yeah, he's right below us. Yo, we can drop down. You wanna drop down? Do it. He's building up on the outside. I'm right behind him. Is that us that did that? No. Nah. Crap, I'm, I'm Liddy McSkitty. Knocked one. Another one. Kill Finish them. the other one. Then what about the dudes below us? I didn't get those. I'm going down. I need help. Okay. But right behind me. Ooh, 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 baby! The dream team is back in business! I'm gonna uh -huh. heal up. I'm gonna heal up. 
Do you got any M16 ammo? I'm like completely out. Put my, I got 80 and split it. Let me go get some shields. There is bodies everywhere. Did we ever get gingerbread man or no? I didn't. So he might be over there then. Alright, beautiful. I think they may have got him somewhere. Got past the shield. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna go do it back behind here. So that has been hit. Yet. All right. You're a psycho wiener. There's a chest up here, but how are you supposed to get it? Oh, I know how. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna stay close. Throw a little love in case anybody's watching, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. oh, this all got looted, man. How far do we gotta go? Not too far. Something blue up there. Something purple inside. Oh, there's a jump pad. <clears throat> jump pad on the north building. down below I think so here we go I got two shields for you oh they're baby shields oh never mind I think oh, it's up top yeah, yeah? I think I heard somebody yep 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 ice cream truck I got uh, meds, or yeah, I got meds and shields right here on me. I'm gonna drop them for you. I got a jump pad, so we gotta we gotta bounce. Literally, we can bounce. I'm gonna go back to that shield. I think it's up top. Did you get that shield? 
What? No. It's inside. It's on the ground next to the bandages. Oh yeah, the baby ones? Yeah. I yeah. Got, it. All right. got a double pump, bruh. He tried to double pump you? Yeah, but I double pumped him first. His boy inside was a coward, man. He tried to just go back inside and hide. Didn't even try to help his friend. He like literally ran back inside, dude. We should go. Ah, we can make it. We can loot a little bit more. I mean, we're not really in a rush. Some of this bandage? That was us, I think. Yeah, this has all been looted. Somebody got wrecked down below, too. Guy up top. I don't know how I missed that. Uh, up top being 60, top of the hill. Alright. I don't think he saw me. He like just crest the hill as soon as... Knocked him. He's low. One shot, one shot. There you go, there you go. His buddy's knocked up top, too. We don't have time for that, do we? He doesn't got much anyways. Nah. His buddy's dead up top. Ooh, he's got something for you, Bo. Little we rocket man action. He's got a sniper, too. I got some rockets for you if you want them. Dropping them right now. There's four on me. Guy's in the water. Them. Let's push. His buddy's gonna have to double back for him. Is that behind a tree somewhere? I think so, yeah. No, he's building. Keep it up. Got him. Ooh, let me get that gold scar, baby. He's got a purple rocket that, launcher yeah. for you, too. It's going to be so hard to... Water. Yeah, it's going to be hard for you to get that. I was just going to say that. Uh, do we have any meds, bro? No. Uh, this guy's got six shields. I'm going to hang on to him. I'm gonna lose a sniper for the rocket launcher. No, nice. never mind, never mind, never mind. That's a bad idea. Let's just get up the hill here, rotate. It's funny, people think I post record these games too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Like, uh, build in 105. Like this, like I go back and I, I record over a duo game. Like who has time for that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like what? You want to push these guys? Heck yeah, you got a rocket launcher, right? Or no, let's play safe, let's play safe. Let's get on that hill you're heading straight for, Bo. Cause I got a jump pad and let's just play safe for the win, yeah? As much All as right. I'd love to go for the aggressive uh, shoddy coming up the mountain. We can harass him, too. Yeah, they're peeking. Oh, he's long peeking, too. We got someone at Dusty as well. I'll tell you right now, if... Uh, Knocked him. Let's jump pad. Ready? Come with me. Yep. Can you build the mine? Yep.
hi, buddy. Astro's right here, tickling me while I'm trying to shotgun this guy. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, son. Hello. <laughs> hi. <laughs> It's kind of awkward, man. Like, dude, that was really awkward. I got my son <laughs> on me right now trying to tickle me, dude. I'm surprised I didn't get wrecked on that. You built up too, right? Oh, we're in it, bro. We're in it. Oh, my gosh. Um, What do you say? Let's seal the bot. Let's just seal this. Okay. Actually, if we fall down this, this could be trouble. Oh, guys. Whoa. Guys on top of Dusty, fighting right now. I just got sniped at too. How many left? Two teams? Oh, I don't like how high this is. It makes me nervous for how high this is. Now I'm gonna start wrecking the trees next to us. See, the other thing too is we can't edit this. Oh, you need some, sh no, you got some shield. I'm putting traps down so nobody wants to get feisty. Two v two? Oh, two guys left. Oh, last team's gonna be on Dusty. They're gonna have to push towards us, I think. Play safe. You got a rocket launcher, right? Mm-hmm. We do not want to let them approach. Look at this mega base we got, though. Good lord. Someone just shot at me. The push from southwest, left to right. Oh, yeah, I see him. One's by the tree. They want to snipe war? Let's snipe war. Let me break the cover? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got hit. He might push. Oh, he's out of the blue. He's out in the blue. Oh my god, I just got knocked. I'm retarded. I shouldn't have peeked that. Let's see, they're they're pushing, they're pushing. Wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. Can you get up to me or nah? He's pushing no. up, he's pushing up on me, on me, on me, and me. Uh southwest, southwest. You got him, dude. If you come on me right now, build up to me. They're pushing straight right. up to me right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're below him. They're both up here. They're both up here looking for you. Nice try, ah. bro. Nice try, nice try, nice try. It's all right. And that's it. That's all I have for you boys and girls. And I hope today's video earned your like and it was entertaining. If it was and it did, make sure to drop a like. It's very much appreciated by me. And before we go, I'm going to read some scripture. This is something I like to do. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you're not Christian, you're welcome to stay. I, I hope you feel welcome to stay. I, I don't want you to feel like you're going to go to hell or I'm going to judge you or other Christians are going to judge you because um, you you don't believe what we believe. That's, that's not how Christianity works. That's not what Jesus wanted. That's not the message he left for us. So my goal at the end of this is to share his message and to share his love and 
to share his peace so that you may know him and you may have him in your life as well. And if it's too heavy for you, it's too deep for a video game video and you got to go, you got other things to do that are more important. I totally get it. God bless you. I still love you. God still loves you. We still love you. Christians listening to this who follow the channel, who uh, love God, we still love you. And maybe one of these days you'll stick around for it. But if not, deuces. So let's get right into it. This is a great message I heard in church, and uh, I wanted to expand on it a little bit. Um, so without further ado, Matthew 4, 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Ooh! Okay, so let's just set this up. So once Jesus was baptized by John, he was led into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. After 40 days and 40 nights of not eating, Satan himself came to him and challenged him and said, If you're the son of God... Then look at these stones on the ground. Just make them bread and eat them. And Jesus responded with, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So Jesus, by the way, Jesus was referencing Deuteronomy 8.3. That was a reference to Deuteronomy 8.3. And I just want to, I want to point out a couple things really quickly. So first of all, God, for whatever reason, Jesus needed to be tempted and during this temptation, he was challenged. His position was challenged. Have you as a Christian ever had your position challenged? Has some things in the world, maybe people or situations, challenged your position as a follower of Christ? Because if it hasn't been challenged, I don't know where, what's going on, what kind of water you're drinking, what kind of where you're at, because honestly you need like you have to be challenged in this position as a christian this is our test people of the world satan himself will constantly use people and i've said this before he'll use people he use situations he'll use obstacles to try to test us to test our faith to see do we really believe are we really faithful to god are we really confident in god because christ was so confident in this situation that he hit satan with the scripture he hit him right back with the scripture he didn't even respond he didn't say yeah i am pretty hungry i could probably turn that into bread turn you into dust and make a new heaven and new earth in the blink of an eye if i wanted to satan but instead i am gonna i am going to speak this truth to you and that is man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god now there's so much to this there's so much to this the first point i want to make is you need to be challenged as a christian you need to be challenged you need to be challenged you need people to challenge your position as a christian because that is your opportunity to shine that is your opportunity to let your actions show just like jesus showed that he he was god he didn't have to he doesn't need the devil to he doesn't need to tell the devil he doesn't need to tell anybody he doesn't have to he, the only person that jesus had to appease was was father god everybody else he didn't have to appease he did everything for god, father god's will and so the first thing is you have to be challenged and I hope that you're challenged as a Christian and I hope that you go through trials and persecutions and you are put in situations that make you feel uncomfortable, make you feel like your your position is being challenged and make you feel like you're going through an unjustifiable uh, trial or obstacle because guess what? God sees that. God sees your heart. He sees your heart and he knows. He knows your heart and he knows you. The Bible says that even the hairs on our head are numbered. Even the the very God even knows the very hair how many hairs we have and he sees how we act in those situations and he knows our heart and those again those obstacles become opportunities and this is a great opportunity to uh just keep his confidence in Father God and share scripture. And so one more thing now let's talk about the scripture itself he actually shared because this is really interesting to me he says man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of god now some people will disagree with this they'll disagree with scripture and that's 
not my place to disagree with scripture or disagree with people who disagree with scripture. But I believe this. I believe that that man shall not live by bread alone. Well, you say, well, you can survive off. You can, you can live off of, um, you know, you can live off of just food, right? You, you can live your whole life off of just food. If you're listening to this and you say, well, you know what? I have, I don't have God in my life and I'm, I'm completely fulfilled in everything. God bless. Like, honestly, God bless. That's you. But I really, truly believe that at some point in your life, sooner or later, now or then, tomorrow, the next day, six years from now, 20 years from now, you're gonna need God in your life. I firmly believe that everybody needs God in their life every single day. Imagine the world we would live in if everyone followed God every day. Imagine the peace this, the, the world would have if everyone followed God every single day, every aspect of their life. We don't live in that world. We do not live in that world. People make their own decisions. People allow the devil to influence their decisions and make decisions for them. And you're going to need Jesus. And I'm sorry, this is going to seem confrontational. and It's going to make some people feel uncomfortable. And it's going to make some people feel like, uh, you need God. You do. You absolutely do. And you can say, no, I don't. But darn it. Yes, you do. Because until you know that peace, until you have that confidence in Christ, you, you will never understand it. You will never understand that confidence and that peace that is in your life when God is in it. And I'm not, I'm not saying this to discourage you from getting to know Christ. And I'm not saying this to be confrontational adversarial. I'm saying this because this is truth. This is what the Bible says. It says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And I hope that you get to know Christ. I hope more than anything, I hope that you seek truth. Because I know in my heart, when you, of pureness of heart, seek God's love, you seek God's truth, you seek the meaning of life, you seek the purpose of your life. When you start to ask these questions in your life, you stop working your nine to five, you get out of that stupid habit of living your life and paying bills and eating food and all the habits that we have. You get out of all that, you get out of that and you start questioning things. You start questioning, well, why, why am I here? Why did G why was Jesus persecuted? Why did they execute a guy who walked around talking about love and peace and how you don't need money to be happy? You don't need you don't need anything but God's love to be happy. Love your neighbor like yourself. Why they execute that guy? Why? Start asking these questions in your life and see what happens. And I firmly believe that when you start asking these questions of why am I here? Why did they execute Jesus? What is my purpose in this life? When you start asking that, God will reveal himself to you in such a clear manner that there is no denying. He'll leave a little bit of coincidence mixed in. He'll leave a little bit of coincidence. So he's got to leave the coincidence in because we still have to have free choice, right? We still have to have the free choice to believe whether it's God or it's just a coincidence because if we didn't have that free choice, guess what? We'd all be a bunch of robots walking around saying, oh, we believe, we believe, we believe. That's not what God wants. God wants us to make the free choice decision to have faith in him because that makes him happy. That's what makes God happy. There, the Bible says that there's only one way to please God and that's faith and there's no other way to please him. And so when we make the choice to believe in him, that makes him happy. And not only believe him, believe in him, but believe in his son and the teaching of the Holy Bible. So that's it. That's all I have for you. I know this ran a little bit long, but it's Sunday and it's my day. So I get to talk about God as long as I want. It's my channel. This is, these are my videos. You don't have to watch them. You don't have to like them. You choose to be here. And just like I choose to talk about God. Um, last time I checked, this is youtube.com slash rhino crunch, not youtube.com slash uh, my channel or whatever your name is. You know what I mean? I don't mean to be like that, but I don't want to read these comments about how much I preach too much. I can never preach too much at the end of these. I can never stop talking about God. I can never go on and on about how awesome God is and how glory, how much glory God deserves in my life because he does. He's created a witness out of me and there is no point in my life that I want to cut him out of it or cut him off or cut him short because I would hate to be on the other end of that stick and me be the one who's cut off or me be the one who's cut short. So with that being said, I love you guys. God loves you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace and God bless.
There's a demon who rapes for control Raps around